Hi guys, um, welcome back to part two of my enormous haul. I don't even want to know how much time the last one took. I did it in two chunks and I know for a fact when I finished the second chunk it said 20 minutes. So I don't know how much time the last one took. So I don't know how much time this is going to take either. So if you watched my last one, uh, part one was all the books that I bought, got for gifts, or it came in my, prescri my subscription boxes. Prescription, Jesus Christ. Anyways, this one is um, Bestie's Unhaul means my haul. Uh, so Nikki is one of my besties. Uh, she's got a TikTok and um, we are almost neighbors. We live in the same housing area, but we're in separate neighborhoods. So I, my neighborhood's over here, hers is back there. Um, but we will trade books a lot. So we are both kind of on this mission to get our bookshelves in order. And she is so much more cutthroat than I am. I'm so uncutthroat that I'm doing an unhaul project where I'm trying out the books on this shelf and some that are back here um, to see if I want to keep them because I have an ungodly amount of FOMO and refuse to get put rid of a book without at least trying it. And because of this issue, I have a ton of books that I'm sorting through, trying out, seeing if I like. If I don't like it, I'm unhauling them. I'm unhauling full series. So I am making progress. As you can see, there is some room on this shelf. There's some room on the on this shelf down here and there's nothing up top. So everything's come off of these two shelves or this table right here, this table right there. Um, but it's a slow process for me because I, for myself, need to try out books. But my upstairs, which is where all my red books are, is pretty tightly reined in. There's only a couple of books on there that I'm thinking about getting rid of uh, because I'm pretty cutthroat that if I don't love a book, it doesn't go upstairs. If I do love a book, it goes upstairs. Um, and then I have a couple that I loved about the time, but now that I'm looking back on it, I'm like, do I really need this book? Uh, for one, like The Thousandth Floor, I had so much fun reading that book because me and Chris, Buddy read it, and it was a blast while we were reading it. But uh, it's not something I'll ever touch again. And so I'm really, really seriously considering getting rid of it so that way I can make room for books that I do love and want to keep and potentially want to read again. Whereas Nikki for a long time was keeping every book she ever read and had a ton of books on that were like, she had multiple copies of multiple books and she would keep all these copies. I only have copies of my favorite books in more than one copy. Um, she has, she had them in quite a few different books. So this haul is her unhaul, her duplicates, and the books that she's read that she does loves but doesn't want to keep. Versus me, if I love them, I keep them. If I don't love them, I don't keep them. Whereas like I said, she used to keep everything. So she got rid of a ton of books. This is probably half of the books that she got rid of. And it's a huge amount of books. Um, but like I said, this is probably half. If she didn't give it top tier, uh, remarks, I didn't take it. Or if she thought that I would like it, even if it wasn't her style, I would take it. Um, but there's a lot of books on here now. And I have most of them in my app. There's a couple that are sitting on my floor that never made it into my app. So I'll have to like write them in or add it to my app and send that to my husband again, because he's trying to compile a TBR jar for me. But once that's compiled, I'll do a separate video on my TBR jars and my plans moving forward with my bookshelves for this year. Um, but I'm working on finishing a couple of series really quick before I really get going with new TBR plans. Um, but anyways, enough of me jibber jabbering and I'm just gonna have to start at the top and work my way down until I hit floor. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight piles about this size, plus a little pile of, of um, 
mass markets and a little pile that I still have to catalog because they don't have, either they don't have um, codes, uh, scan bars, or the scan bars don't work, one of the two. Um, so ugh, yeah, okay. So um, the first book in my hand is Addicted After All. So I have the first book and the second book in this series. Um, and I've been really, really interested in reading it. I know that the Addicted books and the Callaway books kind of run back and forth. You have to, there's a, a reading order for these books. Um, so she's adding to my collection because she wants all of the original, the new covers. I don't care. So she gave me all of these books. If I end up loving them and I want them all to match, I can do that later. But as of right now, I don't really care. The only thing that I care about is when they go paperback, 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 hardcover, paperback, hardcover. I either want, I want them tried to be all paperback or all hardcover. But as far as the covers go, I'm not a huge stickler at the moment to making sure they all match. So um, I said I have one book. The next book I have that's from the same series is Fuel the Fire. I also have Long Way Down and Kiss the Sky and Hot House Flowers. I think that's all of those ones I have. And so we'll move on to the next group. I don't know what a lot of these books are about. There was a huge chunk of them that she just gave to me and said, here, you'll like these. And then there's a, a chunk that I actually went through and I read about what they were about. So I don't know for a lot of these. We're just gonna find out. So this is one that I don't know anything about. This was the, the Weight of Silence. And then we have The Dancing Girls. The Perfect Ruin. I like uh, thrillers a lot and she loves thrillers. And so all the thrillers in my pile are ones that she has said I need to read. So we will start reading them. Next one I have is By the Book. I've heard really, really good things about this author. And so when she handed me that one, I was like, oh, cool, awesome. Um, oh, okay. So this one is The Kings of Quarantine. This is a prequel series to the uh, Zodiac Academy. This is a prequel to the Zodiac Academy and she has numerous copies of this particular book and so she gave me one of them. She kept all the pretty ones and she gave me one of the basic ones, which is perfect because I don't wanna take pretty books from anybody, <laughs> even though she's trying to steal them from me and she knows which one she's trying to steal. All right. Um, this one is called The Killer and Me. And then we have a Ruth Ware one. This one is The Death of Mrs. Westerway. Um, I know that Ruth Ware hit, is a lot, is really hit and miss for a lot of people, but these are ones that she loved. The Chain, I do know what this one's about. This one's about um, the this like, <laughs> almost like a chain mail where your kid gets kidnapped and in order to get your kid back, you have to kidnap another child. It sounds creepy, but she said it was really good. All right, we have A Mother's Secret. No clue. And then we have Bring Her Home. Sounds thrillery, but also no clue. And then we have The Sound of the Rain. Hmm. Okay, this one I was really excited about because I do want to read this book, Savage Lands. I have a Kindle version of it, but I don't read my Kindle. Not that I don't want to read my Kindle, it's like my Kindle does not work well for my brain. It's something about having the physical book in front of me works much better, or doing audio works much better, one of the two. And so now I have a physical book, which I'm really excited about. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one's called uh, Signs of Cupidity. It looks like stupidity, but with Cupid. Some of these books are really pretty. This one she said amazing things about. This is the Grace here. Um, she told me that this one's a really good one that I'm gonna really like it. <laughs> we have some Rebecca Yaros in here. Um, we have The Last Letter. Again, if I pull up a book that is part of the ban, I apologize, I don't mean to. I 
I knew I had a couple in my original one, but I don't know about this one. And we were trying to go through them and look when she was giving them to me, but I literally don't remember. So if something pops up that's part of the ban, I apologize. Um, so we have House, The Housemaid's Secret. We've got some, well, this one's marked. Um, we have some Colleen Hoover. We've got November 9, which I feel like I have. So this one might be for Elise. I know that I gave some stuff to Elise because she, I got duplicates of some of um, Colleen Hoover's books from Nikki and I got like some that I already, like I, like I knew I had one, mm, this one. Verity, she gave me two copies of. I kept this one for myself and gave the other one to Elise. We have Poison Ivy. That one looks like fun. I like the cover. All right. And trust me, I've seen all these before, but you know, they all came home in a giant pile and I didn't have a lot of time to really look through the pile. At least one of the piles. One of them I came home knowing quite a bit about. All right, so this one is Echoes of Silence. Half these books are um, uh, indie published and then the other half are just traditionally published. That's where all the, most of the thrillers are the traditional published. Most of the... Um, romance are in the indie sides side this one is pretty little savage she gave me a lot of book ones there's a handful of others in here but most of the books are like book ones this one is river of shadows then we have some pam godwin here so we've got heart of eve which is just a little novella and then we have dead of eve and i know there is like two more books to this series she has a special edition of all of them, so she gave me the ones that weren't special editions. Uh, we have The Wife Between Us, another thriller that she wants me to read, and The Apartment. That one looks eerie. The next one is What She Knew. Wait, it looks like a thriller. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, The Night Sister. There was something about this one that I can't remember but I'm sure there was something about that one that I was like that one piqued my interest and we have tools of engagement I had book um, two so she gave me book one and three so I also got to fix her up I'm trying out Tessa Bailey I read one of her series so far and liked it a lot uh, so we have the woman in cabin 10 again I've heard mixed things about Ruth Ware some of them I've heard are bangers and some of them are not so good so the ones that she gave me are the ones that she likes so hopefully they're good ones we have brother we have uh death on ocean boulevard uh this one is a coronado like true crime story and that's i thought that was really interesting i think this one's true true crime true crime la, la, la. yeah uh so uh, this one was really intriguing because i lived in california and my husband used to work on coronado all right, so Darcy Coates is an author that I've been really interested in reading. I have one of her books and I've heard nothing but good things about them. So uh, Nikki gave me a couple of them. So we have House of Shadows and House of Secrets. And then we have another pile. <sighs> this one is called The Dark One. I've been wanting to read Nikki St. Crow, so I'm pretty excited about that one. And then we have Her Shadow, His Secrets. Dun, dun, dun. We have a Helen Harden book, Craving. I know I have at least one of her books, but I don't know which one. I got it from Bell Book Box ages ago. All right, and then here's another Nikki St. Crow. This one is The Never King. It does go with the other one that I just showed, which I'm excited to read. That's two of the three books in the series. I don't think I have all three. I think she's giving me two. All right. The next one I have is The Getaway Girl and The Perfect Marriage. Um, this was another thriller. The Housemaid goes with the other, the, the others, part one and two I now I have, which I think I already grabbed the other one. Here's another Helen Harden book. This is The Passion. They're all messed up, as you can tell. This is Rebecca Yaros again, The Great and Precious Things. Um, we took huge buckets full out of her house, and so they ended up all over my 
little living room area. And so the books that did go together are no longer together. So we have, um, when one of us is watching, I've been really, really interested in this one. I've heard good things about Alyssa Cole. <clears throat> I've heard amazing things about her, um, her romance stuff. So I do have a couple of her romance books in mass market paperback, the little, um, short ones that she has. So now I've been, now I have her thriller too. All right. Uh, the killer, you know, like I said, there's a lot of thrillers in here. This one is called hero. And then here's another Helen Harden book. This one's obsession. I think that's all of them. I think I have three total, uh, the names of dead girls and dark hollows and when we rise uh this one is again i think this one is actually like a full-on memoir um she said really that this one is really good i'm sorry i have the hiccups um she said this one was really good and that it's very hard to read because of the content but it's very well worth the read so i will try it out violent obsession the writing is terrible but the picture is intriguing all right, and then we have Dominant Desires. This is gonna be interesting. Um, Cold Hearted Bastard. We have Reckless Girls. And this one's called First Date, Your New Flame or Your Worst Enemy. Your no Worst Nightmare, that sounds fun, okay. And then we have All the Missing Girls, which I've heard really good things about. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, so remember in the last one when I had all of the Blood and Ash books? Well, she got rid of all of her duplicates too. So now I have The Light and the Flame, The Soul of Ash and Blood, A Fire in the Flesh, A Shadow in the Ember, and The War of Two Queens. So I have most of the series now. So that will be fun to go through and actually read. Um, our mutual friend Carrie is in love with that series. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. I just need to learn how to read faster because this is becoming an issue. I have so many books and I do not read fast enough. I'm still working on the one, uh, the one dark window duology. I'm like 70% through Ah, 72% through the audiobook, and I have the physical book too. So, and then I'm also reading Losers still. I just, I need to read faster. All right, so the next one we have another Colleen Hoover book. We have um, Heartbones. Then we have The Air He Breathes. I have a. Um, the Golden Couple, this is uh, Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I've heard mixed things about that, about the, though, that, that author duo, but Nikki likes them, so I will give them a shot. We have Seven Dirty Secrets. We have Eeny Meeny. I so badly want to say Miney Mo. Um, we have Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I've heard really good things about this book. I've heard mixed things about Penelope Douglas as an author, but good things about that particular book. Oh, there's another one. Did she give me two of the same book? Because I feel like I already hauled Kiss the Sky. I don't know, I'll have to look. All right, um, then we have The Shadow in the Glass, which is, I think it's a fairy loot version. I don't know. It doesn't say what it is, but it's definitely a special edition. We have another Pam Godwin. We have Deliver. We have Rena Kent, The Cruel King, which she is um, in the middle of reading and really, really wants me to read with her. <laughs> so this copy apparently isn't great because it's been falling apart that like she opened it up and the pages started falling out so I must read carefully but I'm really 
looking forward to reading this one. I've heard terrible things about the first book, but I've heard the rest of the series makes up for that first book. So we're gonna have fun with that one. Okay, so this is the highest bidder. Um, I, if you watched part one, you will have seen that I hauled another book in the series. I'm looking for the ones with the original covers on them. Um, the ones that have the new covers are really ugly, but I mean, these are awesome. I'm not a huge fan of people on the cover, so whatever, we'll just do what we do. This one's called Welcome to the Dark Side. And then we have the words. And then we have The Woman in the Window. Um, I've heard good things about this book. It's, not, it's one that's been around for a while. And we have The Black Fox. And we have Five Rounds, which she's really excited about this one. She likes them a lot too. She's got pretty copies now, so she gave me the normal one. Uh, then we have Amusement. Can you see it? I have, it's very shiny. You can kind of see my ring light that's chilling out back there. And then we have um, Monsters Within, which I'm actually pretty excited to read this author. I've heard really good things about them. Uh, then we have Untamed Vixen. I feel so saucy, right? Right now, showing you all these books. Then we have Brutal Intentions, which is so pretty. Look at that book. So pretty. Snakes and Purple Flowers. Win win. Huh. I'm going to let you read it yourself because I'm trying not to say those words. We have another Tessa Bailey book. This one's Happenstance. Apparently, it's a white shoes. And then I am psychotically excited about this one. Uh, this was Sea of Ruin, and it's got a little novella that goes with it that is called The King of the Libertines. But I'm really looking forward to those. And then another Pam Godwin book, we have Dark Notes. All right, the last pile before we get to the mass markets and the ones that I have to manually put into my app. We have The Silent Wife. We have Black Chalk. Um, the Haunting of Ashbury House. This is another Darcy Coates book, which I'm also very excited about. We have Winter People. I knew there was another one, The Silent... What is the other one called? There's two of them, and I already did the first one. And then we have in... In Death I Live? Is that what that says? And then we have Miro. I really don't know what some of these books are about. Literally, she just handed me some of them. She's like, try this one. How about this one? Um, a line next to me. Unless I knew it was something I wasn't really interested in, I pretty much took all the ones that either intrigued me or she was determined that I would like. Okay, so we have Savage Row. Like I said, some of these I'm psychotically excited about and some of them I'm like, oh, cool. And some of them I'm like, let's go find out. Okay, so I'm watching you. Like I said, my uh, TBR grew by a lot. <laughs> the Twisted Heathens. And I didn't pay for hardly any of these ones. Like this pile, I didn't pay for at all. Um, but we trade books a lot. But I give her 10 books and she gives me a hundred books. It doesn't quite seem even, but you know, I figure we'll catch up eventually. Uh, this one's called Web of Lies. And then we have the guest list by Lucy Foley. All right, let's do the mass markets first and then we'll do the little pile that I have to put in my app still. Ooh, and this. I'm gonna leave the um, stickers, oops, that one got bent, out. So she uh, does Jenica Snow's um, Patreon and she accidentally got two sets because she canceled it and then restarted it in the same month. And so she got two sets, one hardcover and one paperback. She gave me the paperback ones. This one's called The Drift. This one's called Just the Tip. <laughs> Okay, and then the mass markets, we have The Mummy, 
we have um, Anne Rule's The Stranger Beside Me. Um, I really liked Anne Rule because she writes true crime. And then Anne Rice is the vampire Lestat books. Um, this one is Don't Look Behind You, also by Anne Rule. And then this one is If You Really Loved Me by Anne Rule. Um, I know that at least one of these Anne Rule books has um, uh, Jeffrey, Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer? Ted Bundy. I can't remember. It's got somebody that he actually knew. Okay. And then we have The House of Evil. And then, and then this one is called The Charm Death. I really like cozy uh, mysteries. They're like one of my favorite guilty pleasures just to just sit and read. I just love them and she does this one's really good. So I'm excited about that one. I'm gonna put that one over there. All right, last little tiny pile as we're 30 minutes into this. I don't know how long this is going to end up being once I cut out all of my extra stuff, but this pile is ridiculous. Can I show you? <laughs> okay. Um, so these are the ones that I need to put in my app still, which is why they're separate from everybody else. Uh, we have the property. Oh, I bought this. <laughs> Whoops. This one I bought. It should have gone in the first one, but I apparently it did not. This one is the property of the mountain man. I got it at book of the month. Um, but it, because it was in the wrong pile, I forgot, which means there's something else in this pile that didn't scan earlier and I forgot to get it out. Then we have the vicious darlings, another Nikki St. Crow. So maybe I do have the whole thing. I thought it was a, thr a trilogy and I have three books. So that must be the whole thing. Um, and then this one is called Cal secrets and lies. It's a book one. And then we have Finding His Strength. I know I had another book from this one. This one sounds cute. I really like baking stuff too. And this one is rolling in the dough. This looks cute. And then we have Sweet Solitude. This one is called uh, Love Unexpected. I actually do have something by this author already. I just don't know what I got it from the Bell Book Box. And then these ones, she already told me what the um, spoiler is, so that didn't blindside me. And the stuff matches up. Okay, so the first one, I think this is the first one, is The Resurrection of Wildflowers. And the second one is The Confidence of Wildflowers. We saw the original copies at um, half priced. These copies are pretty. I do know the spoiler. Um, and I do know that it's kind of in poor taste. I'm still interested in reading them. They're not super high on my list, but they are still on it. All right. And then we have the good side of wrong and we have savage lover by Sophie Lark, which I'm looking forward to because I want to try Sophie Lark. Um, so I have total with both hauls. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven large stacks that are literally here high, like just out of range. <sighs> I need more bookshelves. Uh, we're actually going to cover up a window to give me more bookshelves. So yay, here we go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this extremely long uh, two part book haul and give me, let me know what you guys think I should start with. I am going to make a TBR jar. My husband is working on it now. We're trying to figure out how to get the Cricut cutter to cut them out. So I don't have to because I watched Nikki cut hers and I don't want to go through that torture. Um, but yeah, I have got a thousand books to read and I, need some help reading them. So let me know what to start with. Um, let me know what you would do with the books behind me that I am not super into anymore, but I do want to try still. I think that's the problem. I think that's the, the sticking point is if I want to try them, they're still on the shelves and there's a lot of them. All right. Uh, but that's it for now. I will shut up 
and go away and say goodbye.